the giant factory farming industry in America, a growing number of critics say it's cruel to animals. It creates pollution that devastates our environment. And Americans are literally eating themselves to death. A national diet heavy on meat and dairy, which are artificially cheap because factory farms are subsidized by federal dollars. Your tax dollars. Do you think I'm crazy for doing this? No. No. I don't think you're crazy at all. Oh, okay. Why do you not think I'm crazy? Because I think it's like a good experiment and like I think it's good to see how your body feels when you go vegan. Mm -hmm. I just don't think it's sustainable for forever. Forever. One, it actually is exactly September 10th, which marks day one of my veganism journey. Now, week one was probably the hardest week for me and also the most confusing body-wise because I had to get used to the feeling of not having a lot of sustenance in my meals, which makes a lot of sense to me now being through the whole four-week process. It's going to be very interesting now that I'm going to probably have to throw out all my food and go to the grocery store. Oh, you want a little coffee creamer in your coffee in the morning? No, 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 we drink it black now. Yep, nope, can't have that. Hello, my name is Allison Thomas. I am 20 years old and I am a student at York College of Pennsylvania. For the last 30 days, I have been taking on a plant-based diet, veganism. Can I say anything? Uh, ready to and I went through the course of four weeks and my experiences of the four weeks which are shown in a vlog style diary doc. I'm saying very optimistic and I am excited. I'm very excited. I'm excited, nervous, scared for my wallet, um, but it's going to be great. tell you that I'm not an expert okay as far as a dietitian I'm right a, I'm a nurse practitioner and I know it more from a medical standpoint right um, my my biggest concern when people decide to be go to vegan versus vegetarian is that they're not going to get enough protein uh, dr. Michael Clapper who he studies at the University of Rochester he actually I read an article from him saying that when a person first goes into veganism, they kind of get a new vegan high, and that is basically just your brain telling your body how happy it is because you know everything that you are putting into your body through the food that you are consuming. Um, because I've had people tell me that when they've done it, gone vegan, they feel really good at first, but then later they, they don't feel good. They don't have any energy. Right. So just watch your protein intake and if you're not feeling well, get, get some blood work done and, and monitor how that's going for you. Week one was, I was usually very hungry and that is just due to the fact that most of the things that I was very used to eating on a normal, on a normal diet, I could not have. So I would probably, I probably did not eat as much as I needed to. So today marks week two of veganism. It's actually Tuesday, so it's like week two in a day. Right. Um, just like a check-in. Um, I feel better this week. I feel less hungry. I think that my body is finally starting to like transition into like veganism and like it's realizing like, oh, we're not gonna drink dairy and we're not gonna eat meat. Got it. Week two, I felt a lot better. Uh, so I felt less bloated. I felt uh, better rested. And I think I was also just happier that I was in like the full swing of being a vegan and that my body was finally kind of like being content with the fact that this is like, I'm going to be eating plant-based foods, which is when my whole new vegan high kind of started. But I'm still very excited. I think so far we're doing pretty good, you know, 
I feel okay for, um, other than that. I think another reason why I feel so yucky is just from like it being so hot and like the weather and I don't know. There's a lot of factors, but overall we're doing good. Veganism, she's here to stay. I got it, we got it. Uh, my name is uh, Sandy Briggs. My <laughs> occupation is um, I'm a registered nurse with a Bachelor of Science in Nursing, and I'm a college health nurse here at York College, Pennsylvania. Oh. And you are a vegetarian? I am a vegetarian, yes. yes. You've been one for three years, you said? Yes. Awesome. Um, so regarding veganism, which is kind of, I feel like, the next step from vegetarian, what do you know about it? Um, about veganism. About veganism? Mm -hmm. There are different types of veganism. I mean, it's like a step removed uh, from a vegetarian. Um, vegans uh, take a step further in the day. Don't um, eat dairy mm -hmm. or meat or chicken or poultry, um, any animal products or dairy products. Right. Um, and there are different types of veganism as well. One thing that was very interesting to note was that before I went vegan, I never really ate a lot of fiber. My fiber was always very low. And as soon as I became vegan and eating plant-based foods, my fiber was spiked just like that. And that is actually a, a, a big reason why people go vegan. I think um, short-term, as we talked about off the record, um, the, um, I could eat more. Right. Um, because it took more to, for me to feel full. Right. When you eat carbs and you eat red meat or those items, um, it's a kind of a heavy feeling when you eat vegetables and fruits and legumes. Um, you can eat more. And the level of fullness, um, it takes a little bit more to feel full. Right. Um, so it's kind of a lighter feel, but still full. So I noticed that right away. I just felt like I had more energy. Mm -hmm. um, and I tended to gravitate towards those foods naturally for so it was easy for me to right to make the yes. adjust, to make the adjustment. Yes. Wow. And so long term, you still feel the same way. You still feel like you have high energy and I do. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Because I was talking to the other physician about everything, and she was explaining to me that a lot of people, since I'm doing this like cold turkey, because she says a, a lot of people they should ease into it. She said that a lot of people at first. Uh, short term, they do get very, like, they have good energy, they feel good, you know, they get all of these positive benefits, and then it's almost kind of like they crash. Do you think I'm crazy? I don't know if I'd say you're crazy. I think, nope, scratch, you're crazy. <laughs> um. <laughs> Today's week three. I actually just got back from the gym, and um, I would say that this week has been okay uh big things that happened i had kind of been starting to miss all the foods that i used to eat i went to mcdonald's with my friends the other day and i couldn't get anything <laughs> um which is kind of nice because then it keeps me away from fast food but also at the same time i don't know i just kind of like i'm starting to miss eating just like regular food and I don't know, it's just kind of been kind of a sucky week just because, you know, I can't eat the things that I'm used to eating and thank you. And I'm just kind of eating tacos and pasta and veggie burgers and I'm kind of hungry but also at the same time like not hungry. Um, <laughs> And I'm I'm really excited for the end of this. I'm excited for this to be over, but you know, I don't know. At the same time, it makes me wonder. Uh, week four was definitely kind of like you are hitting the milestone. You're almost there. You're, oh, you've almost completed the race. But I also was kind of then in the wondering stage because I started to really enjoy the diet that I was on and started to see results from, you know, working out and eating right and, you know, seeing differences and how I felt about myself personally. And I really liked that about being vegan for a whole month. Week four was definitely the, the big question of, you know, are we going to stay vegan? And I still don't really know what I plan to do, um, you know, with my diet and 
whether I'll choose to introduce meat back into it or if I'll choose to introduce dairy back into my diet. There are definitely things about the vegan diet that I will always implement. Uh, I will probably always drink almond milk because I was never really a big milk fan to begin with. Another thing is I really enjoy vegan ground beef. It's this brand called Light Life and they have like a meatless crumble that you can use for enchiladas, tacos, which are some of the big meals that I've made through this whole month long process that I will probably use for forever because it's low in saturated fat, it's plant based, it doesn't make you, it doesn't leave you feeling gross, which kind of leads me into another reason why I liked this diet was that every single time that I ate a meal while I was vegan, I never had that sick feeling afterwards. You know when you go out to dinner or you eat a big, huge meal and afterwards you're like, and you're like in a food coma? I never had that feeling. Never once throughout this entire diet did I feel uh, gross or like I was gonna be sick or anything like that, which I thought was very interesting. So I'm really thankful and really happy that I've been able to have this experience and share it with you and my friends and my family and I think it really opens everyone's eyes to the media and how it portrays certain diets like the keto diet, this diet, the you know, I've, there's so many out there and I've learned a lot of life lessons about food and nutrition through this and I think that that is the overall takeaway from this experiment for me. I'm gonna be famous! Oh.